Expectations are high for the 2017-18 Lady Flames basketball team. Of course, 17 Big South championships will always create optimism heading into a new season. But after last year's first round exit from the Big South tournament, this year's team seems to be carrying a chip on its shoulder. I am. Um, I don't know that I can speak for the rest of my team because some are new, some didn't really play a lot. So, um, But I definitely am. I take it very personally. So. Um, that, that will definitely be a motivation for every game this year. You know, losing is always a uh, bad taste in your mouth, and uh, we, we certainly like to um, be in a championship scenario, and especially on your own home floor. And uh, uh, exiting early last year uh, really was a motivating uh, factor. Liberty is picked to finish second in the Big South preseason standings. A year ago, the Lady Flames won 12 conference games, marking the 18th straight year with double-digit conference wins. Four starters return to this year's team, including reigning Big South Freshman of the Year and preseason first-team all-conference member Kean Green. She certainly has been someone that we're going to build around and uh, certainly expect her uh, to have a great year going into her sophomore year. And she's worked very hard too and adding a little more to her game. She's a little bit quicker, a little more leaner and, and adding a 15 foot jumper. I mean, I think that's what we've been, been preparing for even since midway through conference last season. Um, I kind of knew it was going to start to trend that way. So I think that's what we've been preparing for. Green led the Lady Flames in scoring and rebounding as a freshman. She says the pressure of being at the top of the opponent's scouting report will be nothing new. I actually think before conference even started at the um, Navy Classic, because I had my best game, well, my best game to date there. Um, so I think after that game, I kind of realized, like, this is how I play, so this is how it's going to be. Green was a big reason the Lady Flames ranked ninth in the nation for rebounding margin last year, the 15th straight year Liberty's been inside the top 10. This year, Liberty also returns 88% of its scoring offense, giving everyone a new level of comfort heading into the year. The maturity allows us to get a little more in depth than some of the concepts we're working on. A play is just not a play. Now the play, we have understanding why we're running the play and the options we have from the play. I mean, there's still a good amount of learning, but last year the, almost the whole team was new, so we had to take things so slow because we had to try to learn everything that um, everybody else knew. But this year we are, we move a little bit quicker because there's only maybe four or five people that need to learn as opposed to half the team. Liberty does add three freshmen this year along with junior college transfer Melissa Carr, but the veterans are believing Big South title number 18 is attainable. I think we can reach what is expected of us. I think our expectations are very achievable, especially from our coaches, because we take one thing at a time. So, um, And in regards to everybody else's expectations, that's not what we're worried about. We've got great depth with this, with this team. So um, if we can get enough reps and understand the game a little better and continue with the effort and the athleticism we've got, um, and probably just become consistent with that, then I think uh, we can have a lot of success throughout the season. Liberty opens the season at Old Dominion November 10th. Once again, this year's Big South Championship Tournament will be held in the Vine Center on the Liberty campus March 8th through the 11th. For the Liberty Flame Sports Network, I'm Nick Pierce.